Welcome. In this topic, reverse engineering, we are going to look into how you can get the source code of an Android app. So the first step is to get the APK or the Android application bundle from the device. So if you have a mobile hacking lab device, for example, with a lab, then you might want to pull the packets from the device. Another option is that you go to a website like APK Mirror or APK Pure. You have to be careful. Some of those websites can also contain malware, but at least those two should be safe. So the first step is get the packets from the device. So an APK, as we learned before, is just a zip file. And if you unzip it, you get the contents. But that's already the second step. So first, let's get the app from the device. So in this case, I'm connected via ADB. And the next step is that we want to list the packages on the device. And then you can use ADB shell. And then within the shell, package manager list packages minus F minus three, the third party packages. Now we get only one package with the package name com mobile hacking lab guess me, because this is just the lab I started via mobile hacking lab. But now we can see that within this directory data app, there is a base.apk. So the main thing we want to do is adb pull and then we can just copy this directory. Now it is pulling the packets from the device. Now we can see this package is downloaded. There it is. It already shows as a zip file. So what we also can do is extract here, for example, and then you get all the context. So the DEX files, which contain the source code, eventually the resources file, also some Kotlin directory, some assets, manifest file, and apparently no library file. So this application has no native libraries. But what you already can see, if I open the Android manifest with a text editor, it's not really readable. So you can just extract it, but to really decode it, we need to use another tool like APK tool. And the alternative is to go to apkmirror.com. So for example, I want to search for X, so formerly Twitter. And then in APK mirror, usually you should be able to get different versions. So in this case, it's an APK bundle. Should be no problem, but we can also go to apkpure.com. Then again, we search for X. And here we have two versions. So it's the same version, but we can also download the APK file. So this might be easier. So now we're just downloading this. So this is just the second way to download an APK file. So now we know how to get the application. And the next step is how to decode and decompile it. So hope to see you in the next video.